Uh, make, make sure I got it right. Was it 18 and 15? Is, you know, not to put too much pressure on you, but is this becoming the norm for you, you feel like? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I got to be confident. Yes, it's normal for me. You came out first four or five minutes, and it felt like every rebound was in your hands. Was it just a matter of the ball coming your way, or were you looking to be extra aggressive with it? I mean, people say that I'm like talented and off the board, but I'm also trying to like pursue it. And uh, also, it was an uh, emphasis for the game that they go uh, after every single ball. So, I had to match it, and that's what I did. Vic, is there, is there something happening as far as your comfort level or maybe is everything coming together for you? Is something changing for you here in the last few days, in the few games? Uh, I don't think so. We just get better as a team. So like my shots uh, getting better because people created from, uh, for myself. I, I happen sometimes in a better position so I can score the ball uh, in an easier way because uh, I try to keep my field goal percentage really high. And uh, nothing really like personally happened to me. It's just like our team gets better, so we all get better on, uh, on offense. But we still have a long way on defense. Odi, you guys had a size advantage, especially when you and Vic were in there together. Is that something you were looking to take advantage of? Uh, I mean, yeah. Coach told us, you know, <clears throat> I'm looking at the roster. Uh, they weren't that big, so we went in there and uh, from the get, like the get go, immediately just started attacking them inside. Who do you led the bench in scoring tonight? Uh, you guys had a plus 13 differential and uh, your rotational players. Can you talk about how big it is for you guys when you got to come in and fill in those minutes? Uh, I mean, shoot, everyone coming off the bench always tries to provide like a little spark, like boost the energy. Uh, you know, we're able to see like how the, how the pace of the game's going. So we come in there and then immediately try to work and just do our job. Top 10 and threes made coming in this game. Detroit Mercy was, how important was that running them off the line, especially in that first kind of flurry? They made five threes to start and you guys pretty much shut them down the rest of the game. Yeah, that was on the scout, uh, especially, uh, you know, shout out to them. They a good three point shooting team. And uh, we just tried our best to keep running them off the line, trying to limit their attempts and everything. But, you know, shout out to them. It's, they, they were able to make a couple hit us for a couple of threes early on. Odie, we saw your confidence grow here as of late, starting with that game um, versus Xavier. What's been working for you? I mean, honestly, tonight, that first half, you finished eight points there in the quick segment. What's been working for you in the last few games to seem to get that confidence growing again? Mm, I mean, just been working, just been grinding. You know, I try just every single day in practice, every single time we go at it, we go at it. Me and Vic, you know, Lou, we all be going at it, trying to uh, work and get those reps in order to keep getting us better. Either one of you guys, Antoine obviously can score. He still got 17, but well below his average. What was the plan against him today defensively? Antoine did. Oh, yeah. I think uh, David got it, uh, yeah. did a really good, did a really good, good job on him. And uh, I think I let him score a couple of easy baskets that I kind of gave in on the play, got tired. Uh, he shouldn't be giving in on those plays. But yeah, we, we, I think we did a really good job and his percentage is awful. So I think we, <laughs> it oh, is. No, nah, shout, out, shout out Dave. He yeah. really, he really locked he really it. Especially in the first half. I know you all saw that in the first half. Lock it, hit the bucket. It's tough, yeah. it's tough. How, okay. How much did CJ help you guys this week? <laughs> it looked like he enjoyed. <laughs> The number of shots he was able to get up in practice yeah. this week, but did he did he give you a good look at, at Antoine, Antoine Davis? Yeah, CJ did a, a great job. I mean, he usually always does does a great job, prepares us, you know, coming into the game. But you know, he, he was even on on the bench, you know, calling out the plays because he, he he knew what was coming. So yeah, shout out CJ too. I would also highlight Jalen Stowe, our G, oh, no. who pisses oh, no. me off every time. Go <laughs> go into me. I hate you, Stowe. <laughs> <laughs> Talk the most trash on the team. Yeah, I mean, you've been in practice, so what's going on? He just got into me, coach yelled at me that I can answer back, and I don't think it's fair, and like it just kept going. You held with the 54 points. Uh, how, how important was that? A team like this, defense has been something that you guys need to improve on. 
Is this a step in the right direction to take a team that can score like that and hold them to 54? Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely a step in the right direction. Um, we held them, I think, well below, like you said, like held some of their players well below their averages and everything. You know, everyone was on top of it. And uh, I think we met, we met like, uh, a lot of our numbers. We have these numbers that we got to meet coming into the game. And, uh, you know, we, we were right there on the mark. So defense taking a step. Any other questions? Thanks, guys. Merry Christmas, fans. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you.